Good evening, everybody. Me and Duke are here. Um, I was watching today. First of all, I want to apologize for my previous video. Oh my God, I don't even remember making that until I saw my notifications this morning and Denise commented on it. And I apologize for being out of my drug out of mine. I was in the hospital, okay, and I was medicated. I'm not some junkie, so Darrow, don't be telling people I'm a drug addict, okay? But Christine said something in one of her videos, it was about a year ago. So, uh, they were talking about every Jehovah's Witness says. Well, the scriptures say that the light keeps getting brighter and brighter. And, okay, Proverbs 4.13 says no such thing. Darrow and every other Jehovah's Witness you will talk to swears up and down that the New World Translation is the best translation of the Bible. Okay. Anything I say, I can prove. It can be proven. All you have to do is Google Scholar. Um, it was, uh, what was his name? John Steele was one of the uh, biblical scholars that got on the watchtower uh, for misquoting him and J.R. Manty, M-A-N-T-Y, said that the New World Translation was a shocking mistranslation. Now we all know that in the New World Translation is uh, Proverbs, I keep wanting to say Psalms, what are you doing? Proverbs uh, 418 says, well, the light gets brighter as the, as the day approaches. Okay? Says no such thing. I have four Bibles here. <laughs> this was fun. I looked up that verse in every one of these Bibles, different translations, and we are going to go through them and see if they say anything remotely close to what the New World Translation says. Okay, this is the Help Finder Bible published by Guidepost. Okay, I am at four, Proverbs 4.18. It says, the way of the righteous is like the first gleam of dawn, which shines ever brighter until the full light of day. But the way of the wicked is like total darkness. They have no idea what they are stumbling over. Okay, that has no bearing that that does not say that the light gets brighter and God reveals things a little bit at a time that God will tell you one thing for a thousand years and then he'll laugh in your face and say oops sorry <laughs> this is what I meant and you're supposed to in one day like Christine says in one day eight million people are supposed to change their thinking just bam like that okay that's one Bible okay this here is the Rock of Ages Study Bible, the King James Bible, Proverbs 4.18. But the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. The way of the wicked is as darkness. They know as not what they are stumbling. Okay, that, that to me sounds like it's comparing the path of a righteous person. Their walk with God, it's comparing their walk with God to, they know, the witnesses will never read verse 19, to the, the way of a wicked person. Okay? It says nothing about the path. Okay. This is the NIV Reference Bible. Psalms 418. The path of the righteous is like the morning sun shining ever brighter till the full light of day. Verse 19, but the way of the wicked is like deep darkness. They do, know, they do not know what makes them stumble. And last but not least, we have the New King James Version. Proverbs 4.18 says, but the path of the just is like the shining sun that shines ever brighter unto the perfect day. And then verse 19 says, the way of the wicked is like darkness. They do not know what makes them stumble. Okay. All four of these Bibles say pretty much the exact same thing. Something completely different, completely foreign, completely just so far from what the New World Translation says. Now, 
here's my question that, you know, I really, really want you to have as witnesses, former witnesses, whoever, I, I want you to ask yourself this question. Okay, you got these Bible scholars who are swearing up and down that the New World Translation is, and I quote, a shocking mistranslation that goes so far from what the Bible actually says. Unquote. That is J.R. Manti said that. I've heard him say it a thousand times. So on video, he was never a witness. He has no reason to, you know, discredit, you know, Jehovah's Witnesses. Why would he say that? Okay, you have these scholars saying that. And then you just heard it yourself. You got four different Bible translations that all say the same thing except the New World Translation, which says something completely different that it doesn't even mean. It's talking about the walk of a righteous person. It's not talking about the day, the light will get brighter as the day approaches, that that God is just for some reason, for his cosmic amusement, is just yanking your chain, expecting you to believe one thing, and then years later, oh, <laughs> sorry, I was, just, I was just goofing on you. Okay, this is what you're supposed to believe. And then six months later, oh, <laughs> sorry again. Would a loving God do that? God is not the author of confusion. If you honestly believe that God loves you, if you honestly believe that, then you have to believe that his word is, is infinite, okay? We have finite minds, okay? God wants the best for us. Can we agree on that, Jehovah's Witnesses? Can we agree on that? God loves us and wants the best for his children. Why would he play mind games with you like that? Why would he do that to his children? He wouldn't, you know. There you go. You have it. Four Bible translations saying all the same thing, completely different from, from the New World Translation. So I just wanted to give you guys something to chew on tonight, and I hope everybody has a good evening. Duke, come Duke. Come Duke and say goodbye to these nice people. Come here. Oh, well, don't then. He's sitting there chewing on his band. He's perfectly happy. But um, you all have a good evening. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.